Good morning, everyone. It's good to be with you Saturday morning. We made it through another week and getting into the weekend, and tomorrow is Sunday. Praise God. Today we're going to be talking about God can keep you unharmed. And it comes from Psalm 54, 4, where it says, Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Kayleen's going to open a prayer this morning. Dear Lord, we just thank you for today. We thank you for a beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for being with us, for helping us each step of the way as we've gone through this week. And we thank you the plans that you have for us coming up in the next week. We just trust you and we serve you. We love you and uh, we just want you to use us to further your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, today as we talk about God can keep you unharmed, it says she stands alone after the service ends. I've just watched her do the impossible, raise her hands in worship while her whole world is crashing down around her. I walk up next to her and gently ask, how are you? She answers with a voice choked by tears and the kind of smile that only comes through suffering. It is well with my soul. I nod because I know she's telling the truth. This isn't cliche offered like a, a band-aid to protect her heart. She means it. I put my arm around this brave woman's shoulders, and as I stand there next to her, I think of the hymn that first gave us those words. They were written by a man who had just lost his four daughters in a shipwreck. He chose worship in the midst, in the middle of heartache too, heartbreak too. How can we come through life's storm still saying, it is well with my soul? It's a mystery, and yet I've been there too. I know what it's like to stand in the eye of the hurricane and somehow know peace. Apparently, David did too. He said, God rescues me unharmed from the battle, Psalm 55, verse 18. It's not that David is in a time of serenity in his life. He's in the heat of war, the middle of a storm, surrounded by trouble, yet he still says he's unharmed. It is well with his soul. Dr. Henry Cloud says there is a big difference between hurt and harm. We all hurt sometimes in facing hard truths, but it makes us grow. It can be the source of huge growth. That is not harmful. Harm is when you damage someone. We will experience hurt in our lives. There's simply no way around it. And we, we've all seen how hurt can eventually lead to healing, like when we have surgery. God doesn't promise we will avoid hurt. We live in a fallen, broken world, and we are not home yet. But God will keep us from being harmed. In other words, from being irreparably, irreparably damaged by what happens in our lives. That's what I saw in my friend that evening as she worshipped. I knew she'd been through many battles, yet somehow the deepest, most eternal part of her came through unscathed. She still had hope. She still had faith. She still had an open heart. God sustained her. It may be unwell with our bodies. It may be difficult with our families. It may be challenging with our work. Yet in all those things, we can still say it is well with my soul. There's a place within you that this world and the enemy cannot or simply can't touch because it's safe in the hand of God and he has promised never to let go. That's the part of you that will live forever. And while it may be dinged and dented by this life, it can't be permanently damaged. God is faithful. He may allow hurt in our lives, but he will not harm us. So we can say with the Apostle Paul, I know whom I have believed and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12. God will sustain us until we're home with him. And on that day, we can trust it will be well with our souls and with everything else too. Wow, that's good. I, I know of people, you know, the statement, it is well with my soul, you really don't hear people say very often. But the things that I hear people say, when I know that they've gone through a tough thing is, I am blessed. 
and you know you can be blessed even though there are tough things going on around you you still know that God is with you and you are blessed and and he just doesn't leave you amen and the tough things that you go through he allows them sometimes for you to learn or to be able to help someone else in a time when they're in a deep deep down deep in, in distress or mm -hmm. well we've seen many times and we've all we've all had hurt in our lives we've all been through tough things and the only thing I can explain too and that's speak from our own personal things that we went through the struggles mm -hmm. and and we've seen it to where yes we've been hurt but harmed no and the hurt we can and you know we've heard people say it you can either become bitter or you can become better mm -hmm. and if we'll allow the hurt to make us better and that we can grow from that and we can become stronger through that mm -hmm. then I really do think as much as I would say you know I would never want to go through those things again because they did hurt deeply they hurt yeah and, and I'm sure that the other people that were on the other side of that they hurt probably too um, but we can either become bitter or we can become better and we can become stronger we can grow in wisdom we can grow in understanding but I think that's key you know he talks about several verses in here that just the trust and knowing that that we believed and um, God does protect us you know and, and the promise is true he doesn't promise that he's going to keep us from hurt but he does promise that he'll keep us from being unharmed. And uh, he does. He watches out for us. It makes me think of, you know, I like their illustration about going through surgery. That you have pain, but there is good after that. And, and I also think of scars. You know, me, you may have scars and you can remember the traumatic thing that happened. But sometimes you remember the good things, how people were there for you, how they helped you, how you healed, how you eventually were able to do things that you could do before the surgery or how it is, how certain things are better. So scars aren't always bad either. They can help you remember how faithful God was in those times. Yeah, that's true. Well, thanks for being with us this morning. So good to see you this morning. And we're going to close in prayer, and we're just going to thank God that He does. He watches out for us, and He does. He keeps our hearts from being harmed, and and even in the storms of life, I mean, that we go through some tough stuff. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank You for today. Thank You, God, for watching out for us. Thank You that You do watch over our hearts, that You do watch over our lives. And God, You do. You, one thing I've heard said many times is that You don't waste anything. So the things that we go through, even the hard things, the, the hurtful things that we go through, God, that we know that you can take those things and even though the enemy may mean it for evil or bad, um, somebody else may even mean it for evil or bad. But God, that you are in the, in the working of restoring and watching over and protecting um, so that we're not irreparable, God, that, that you can bring us stronger through the things that we've been through. And, and I know this, and I should have said this even when we were talking about this, but God, I have seen people walk through some very, very hard, difficult things, but they've allowed you to work through that. And it's made them the people they are today. And they are gifted people. They are blessed people. They are people with even bigger hearts now than what they were before. Because you worked in that situation and through that situation and worked in them to make them the men and the women of God that they are today. So we pray that, Lord, that you would take our hurts and that you would cause us to be stronger, God. And just bless your people today. Bless those that are listening today. And Lord, that if you're speaking directly to them this morning, which I'm sure that you are some, God, you just take, if there's hurts there that haven't healed yet, God, that you'd work through that, that you'd remove the bitterness, that you would cause it to grow into something beautiful and awesome for your glory, Lord, that will bless many, many, many people, Father. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. It's so good to see you guys this morning, and we will talk with you soon. God bless you. Wait, don't forget, tomorrow is Sunday. We're celebrating Jesus and worshiping together. God bless you. Bye.